Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at Arsenal's three Emiliano Buendia transfer alternatives as Mikel Arteta is searching for a new playmaker in the summer transfer window and it is not Buendia being that man and in terms of Arsenal's summer transfer window it has not got off to the best of starts with reports today stating that they have missed out on top target Emiliano Buendia the Argentine playmaker has starred for Norwich City over recent seasons during the interest of the Gunners. Mikel Arteta is searching for a solution for the problem position behind the striker in his squad, with the Spaniards seeking more creativity next season. Scoring goals has been a major problem for the Gunners since Mikel Arteta took charge, with Arsenal scoring the lowest amount of any team who finished in the top half of the Premier League. That means bringing in a new playmaker will be vital this summer as Mikel Arteta searches for a long-term replacement for Meza Ozil. Emiliano Buendia would appear to be the perfect man to fill that role in the Gunners' squad with a 24-year-old vital in Norwich's championship winning campaign. He scored 15 goals and added 17 assists to fire the Canaries to the title, making him a firm target for Arsenal. But as it is reported and it is pretty much done deal that Buendia's next club will be Aston Villa, with the Midlands club set to complete a £38 million move for the midfielder. So in terms of Emiliano Buendia, Arsenal have now missed out on the target, so the search continues for that permanent replacement to Meza Ozil. And I think it's a big blow to the Gunners, but I think if they find a better alternative, then it's very good for the Gunners. But in terms of free alternatives, the first person on the list is Martin Odegaard. The Norwegian impressed during his loan spell from Real Madrid over the second half of the season just gone. Martin Odegaard became a regular in Mikel Arteta's side and showed several glimpses of his immense talent during his time at the Emirates. With Real Madrid needing to bring in funds to revamp their squad, the Gunners could attempt to bring the 22-year-old back to the Premier League. So it looks like Martin Odegaard could still be a viable alternative to Emiliano Buendia as he was the temporary solution in the January transfer window from January was the temporary solution to Meza Ozil but we need that permanent replacement now to Meza Ozil because now we're in the summer transfer window we have no excuses like the players are not available players want to wait until the end of the season so Arsenal should be able to splash the cash and find that permanent replacement to Meza Ozil and it could be in the form of Martin Odegaard where Real Madrid did put a minimum value for him as £51 million pounds. but then ever since Carl and Ancelotti became the Real Madrid manager. It looks like Carlo Ancelotti is keen for Martin Odegaard to have an integral part of his campaign as Real Madrid manager and someone that could be playing in the midfield position or in that number 10 role for Real Madrid. So in terms of Arsenal, it looks like Mikel Arteta still thinks that Martin Odegaard is the top target for the Gunners this summer transfer window. And if it's not Emiliano Buendia in this summer transfer window, it could be in the form of Martin Odegaard. He has impressed. There were certain games like the West Ham game where we had that nice comeback, even though there was not that much to play for. There was someone like a Martin Odegaard who was very pivotal in that comeback and he did have an immense game. But also there were some occasions after the injury where he didn't look to his best. So we have to wait and see if Arsenal will go back in for Martin Odegaard. God. So the next person on the list is Christopher Nkunku and Nkunku will be a familiar name to Arsenal fans having previously been a target when Unai Emery was in charge. The Frenchman made 40 appearances in all competitions to help RB Leipzig to finish second in the Bundesliga. The 22-year-old weighed in with 7 goals and 11 assists this term, clearly showing he can provide a creative spark. And Nkunku was someone that was also linked with the Gunners in January, someone that could be that alternative as Meza Ozil left the football club and Nkunku could have been seen as a decent option as well for Mikel Arteta. But in terms of Christopher Nkunku, he was heavily linked with Arsenal when in the time of Unai Emery's reign at this football club. But when it comes to Christopher Nkunku, it looks like RB Leipzig are very having a massive summer overhaul as well because a lot of their players have been leaving the football club. You see Timo Werner had left the club. You see Upamancano, you see Canate. All these players have been leaving the football club. It might be due to financial difficulties and Christopher Nkunku could be another person that's on the list as well. In terms of his price, it's roughly between £30 million to £40 million. So when it comes to Christopher Nkunku, he could be a decent option. Someone that normally is very versatile. He can operate on the left-hand side. He can operate on the right-hand side. He can play in the number 10 row. He can also play like a sort of a false 9 row. Sometimes he plays as a striker as well under 
um, Nagelsmann as their manager, but with the new manager being the RB Salzburg ma manager in the form of Jesse Marsh, he might not get the same amount of game time under a new manager since Nagelsmann has made the move to Bayern Munich. So Christian Kunku could be a player that wants to have a chance at the Premier League and in a club like Arsenal, but would he come to a club with no European football? So the final person on the list is Hussein Owa and well, probably a central midfielder, Hussein Owa has the ability to play further forward and has shined for Lyon. He's not a traditional number 10 but does like to play the ball forwards and drive his team on, something that also has been sorely lacking. The 22-year-old scored 8 goals and notched 4 assists as Les Gunas secured a top 4 place in Ligue 1. Uh, even though they did secure a top 4 place, it doesn't mean Champions League football in the Europa League since Niko Kovac's AS Monaco side came 3rd position and it's only the top 3 places that get Champions League football and Hussein Awa's Arsenal transfer looks like a possibility as I think Arsenal player William Saliba has prevented his side from making Champions League football after he scored the winning goal to prevent Leon's chances of making it into the Champions League. And when it comes to Hussein Mawa, he's someone that was seen as a top target in the summer transfer window last season. But also went with either Thomas Parsi or Jose Mawa as one out of those two players. But they went with Thomas Parsi instead. At that time, he was roughly around 50 million euros is what Leon were asking for. But now it looks like his price has massively dropped and it's somewhere in the region of 22 million pounds to 30 million pounds. So when it comes to Arsenal, it looks like a viable option for the Gunners if they want to go with that number eight, someone that can also play in the number 10 and also be that partner to Thomas Partey as well if he wants to play with someone thing like two number eights where Partey can drop in as a central midfielder or CDM by himself and have two attacking midfielders ahead of him. So Hussein was could be seen as another alternative to Emiliano Buendia. This season has been a mixed season due to injury, so you have to wait and see what Mikel Arteta has planned out because it looked like Mikel Arteta was keen on Emiliano Buendia transfer, but it looks like Eddie was the one that made the call not to sign him in the end, and Aston Villa were ahead of Arsenal when it comes to the transfer race for Emiliano Buendia, so you have to wait and see what happens, but other than that guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video, and peace.